Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Zamana Anti-Malware version 3.0, which has been finally released after a very long beta. The free scanner has been out for a while, but this is when they've finally gotten together their premium version, which includes real-time protection. Now, some of you are aware I did take a look at this product in the past. Well, it's been a while, let's just say that. There are definitely two components to it. One is it's a second opinion scanner, kind of like Hitman Pro, and I've used it myself in that capacity for a fair bit of time and I think it does okay. However, I think it's important to mention that recently I haven't had a lot of success with it, especially the premium version. But hey, 3.0 is finally here, so maybe that changes things. Let's see what we get. Smart real-time protection, fundamentally re-engineered, outstanding performance, the next generation of security, and the main tagline is bring the future of security on your PC. So let's see what that looks like. Does the future look bright? I do have Zamana installed on this VM. As you can see, it is uh, pretty much the same UI as before. We'll just do a check for updates. As you can see, it's version 3.1, so it is the latest version. It is the brand new release. We do have real-time protection turned on. It just says smart next to it for some reason. And then we have browser cleanup. Just have 15 days of my free trial to test this, so might as well do it now. So to kick things off, I'll do something slightly unconventional here. I'm not going to get the new malware that I usually do. I'll just use whatever I have from the last test, which is probably months old by now. And let's just see how it does. If it does really well, I'll just grab new samples and then we'll put it on the website. But let's see how it does against old malware. So this is the future of security against malware from the past. The samples in there are probably some proportion of ransomware, some viruses, a lot of PUPs. We have 14.99 items, so quite a few. I think this was the sample set I used for the Bitdefender versus Kaspersky video. But anyway, let's get started and see if Zamana is capable of protecting your computer standalone. As usual, we'll run the Python script. If you want details of how this works, Make sure to check out the website, thepcsecuritychannel.com. We do have real-time protection turned on, so we are good to go. Okay, we have a couple of Hello World scripts running in front. That's nice. Ooh, did somebody just shut down Zamana? Oh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Let's try restart it. That was not a good start. As of now, it seems we already have a ton of our assists running on the computer. We have desktop icons being created, disappearing. I have no idea what's going on. I'm guessing this is some kind of PUP downloader, but that's the least of our worries at the moment. The main problem appears to be this computer is uh, completely unusable, and we have a ton of randomly named files appearing and disappearing on the desktop, constantly being created and deleted. I'm guessing this is some kind of virus action. I think I've seen enough. I'm just going to reset the machine and try to load up Zumana because it just it just randomly quit as soon as I run the malware sample. So, so much for the future of security. Then they say nostalgia is for nothing. Look at that malware from the past just ripping through the security of the future. Nah, I'm just kidding. To be fair, Zumana is not really a standalone product. At least not anymore, looking at the results. We probably still have malware running. And I'll try to load up um, some mana. Okay. It says it's blocking some harmful files. Let's see if we can restart the test and get some kind of detection ratio because that's kind of important. Do we still have malix.py? Yeah, we do. That's nice. 
But, well, no surprises here. As you can see, most of these are just being missed. We have proactive detection running around like 20% right now, which is not very impressive given this is old malware. And boom, uh, like at the middle of test, the script dies, everything dies because the malware just completely takes over. Where do we go from here? I'm just going to reset the machine again and then we'll do a scan with Zamana and see what it can do to remedy its screw-ups of the present. Needless to say, so far I'm not impressed and I would definitely not recommend buying the premium suite just to run it on your system because it appears to not be very effective against malware in general. Oh, we have OnLab being installed on the system. This is interesting. So the malware is actually using AV company names to create its uh, various executables. That's fun. Now I'll just try and do a scan with Zamana, see if it picks up a lot of stuff. Maybe it's like malware bytes. It's better as a second opinion scanner, but fairly useless in terms of real-time protection. Keep in mind that these were all files that standard AV products would get a detection ratio of 90 plus percent at. So we've already set the bar very low. We have our first detection, a hollow process, a couple of malicious settings, but okay. A bunch of stuff just turned up afterwards. Ah, oh, so it did detect some of these randomly named executables. Supply action. And it says my device is safe. Well, I'm not so sure. Okay, so it did delete a lot of this stuff, but it didn't block it at runtime. So that's uh, kind of interesting. Maybe some kind of engineering problem here. Because even the files that it does detect on scan weren't detected during the proactive test. Maybe something that should have been addressed in beta. But well, there you have it. That's your result. I'm not sure what to say other than the product needs a lot of work, especially if it's uh, aiming to be anything like a real AV. As a second opinion scanner, I might just pick it up and start using it again. But needless to say, I don't recommend buying the premium version for this. Like honestly, Windows Defender will do you better at this point. If you think there's a different use case for this product, feel free to let me know. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and share, subscribe to the PC Security channel. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.